guys, it's Christina with Life and Spice. And in case you didn't know, I am a homeschool mom to four kids, 15, 10, 3, and almost 1. And I am all things homeschool, being frugal, staying on budget, um, living a healthy life, and inspiring others to be healthy as well. And I had posted on Facebook about our meal planning and staying on budget. And if you saw my budgeting video, I'll link that below. But I just went over all the different ways that we're able to stay on budget and how our system helps us. And I've had a few people request details on how we meal plan. And I feel really silly making this video because it's so super simple. It's, it's literally, I don't even have enough things to talk about to make it a video. So this is going to be really short, but I do want to share with you our tips and tip number one is to stay on a budget and you want to create a budget that your family is comfortable with every week. For us, we do $200 a week, $100 per person per month and we have six so we do $600 a month plus I do an X $200 a month to include all the toiletries and um, our Costco runs because when you buy in bulk it could be a little expensive. And so for us, that comes out to $800 a month. So that's where I get the $200 a week. We are saving right now, or trying to save a little extra to do some vacations that we've been wanting to do. So now I'm trying to push myself to stay at the 150 mark. Um, and this week I did it, I was $155. So every dollar I can save at the grocery store helps us in the long run. So that's $50 this week I could put towards our vacation. It helps you to reach your goals a lot faster when you can save even more. So it's very exciting. Um, so that's my first tip is a super budget and know what you're going into the store with or before you even start meal planning, you can really get an idea of exactly what you have to spend. And then that forces you to stick to it and pretend like that's all the money you have. Really push yourself because what do we do when we are out of money, we stop shopping, that's it. So really stick to it. What I also do, I just plan seven days at a time and that's for different reasons. One is because if I go too far, I used to try to do two weeks at a time and what I found myself doing was going back to the store multiple times. Well, if you have to go back, you end up, for me, I was spending more. Because even though I needed just a few vegetables or eggs and milk and lunch meat, I found myself buying more things like, oh, I'll just get some extra graham crackers and oh, I'll just get this just in case. And in the long run, I thought I was saving myself money. I was spending more money. So now I just concentrate on one week at a time. That's seven dinners. And then it's a lot more manageable and it helps me to really stay on track. My next tip is when I go to the store, I only get what's on my list. And it's really hard to do that sometimes with kids in tow, but it's totally doable. Give your kids a little part of the list. They let, especially the fruit and vegetables, it's really easy for them. Like, oh, you get a bunch of bananas, you need to get four apples, you, and you can actually write down little lists, list, and you can even make it an activity. Sit them down at the table and draw apple, and draw a banana if they can't read yet. They like to get involved too, and it's a really great activity beforehand. It gets them geared up and excited for the store, and it helps them stay on track, and it helps everyone stick to the list. My next tip, think of meals that can serve double duty. Um, I believe that's a Rachel Ray term. I probably picked it up from her back in the day, the double duty dinners. But really all that means it's meals that you can really stretch. Like for us, that's things like lasagna bowl. This week, for example, we'll have cheese stuffed shells. It makes a ton and it can actually make two dinners for us. But what I'll be doing is doing a dinner one night and then later in the week it will become lunch. It may even become lunch for two days for us. So it's one of those 20, $25 dinners that will stretch over two to three meals. Things like pulled pork sandwiches, you can do as the sandwich one night and then use the leftovers for sandwiches or for stuffed baked potatoes. If you're going to grill, grill extra meat and then later in a week, you know, you could have an extra steak or two, slice it up. You can have steak salads later in the week and just you can put some rolls with it and that's a great, easy, cheap dinner. So I would say when you're going through and you're making your meal plan for the week, you can choose some big meals. Sometimes meals have a lot of ingredients. There's just no way around it. But you can really throw in some budget-friendly meals and Pinterest is great. That's my next tip. Go on Pinterest, search budget-friendly meals, healthy meals, Whole30 cheap. Um, lots of things. You can get an endless supply of ideas on different meals to add. Next tip is to have your crock pot and use it. Let that crock pot be an advantage to you. 
You can find a lean meat and then cook it in the crock pot all day long and make it magical. So don't be afraid to choose some budget friendly cuts and then cook them in the crock pot. My last helpful hint when it comes to meal planning, let me get this for you, is this. It's just a binder. And let me show you the ones that I love the most because they're stained with food. Sometimes like this is chicken cacciatore subs. So like I said before, the double duty meals chicken cacciatore, and then later in the week, the leftovers become sub sandwiches. Same thing with meatballs. Meatballs is one of our favorite double duty meals. You make a big batch of meat, meatballs, huge with spaghetti or spaghetti squash, and then later in the week, you just put, you heat it up and put it on sub rolls with this melted cheese, and boom, meatball sub sandwiches, a little side salad, and you've got a really yummy, healthy meal, and you didn't break your budget. And so I love my binders. We keep them in the pantry. They're easy to grab and we can just flip through. Oh yeah, I forgot about this and then add it to the meal plan. The ingredients are right there. It's easy to find. That's my tips for meal planning. I hope it helps you guys become more motivated to meal plan too. Um, it will really help you to stay on budget and it also helps become a huge time saver. We'll be sharing again with you guys really soon.